First of all, there was no action for Southampton or Portsmouth this weekend due to the international break. And unfortunately, a number of our games were affected by bad weather, with Winchester City, Allsford Town and Romsey Town's games also coming to the rain. However, aside from Italy, one team whose match did survive the weather thanks to their 3G pitch was Alton, who hosted Spellthorn Sports in the Combined Counties League. The game started brightly for Alton, Pat Cox going close with this opportunity early on. However, it was the visitors Spellthorn who went into the break ahead, thanks to a Jamie Fuller goal midway through the half. But less than two minutes after the restart, Alton were level, after a lovely ball in from captain Matt Graham was headed home by Cox. The former Winchester City man thought he'd scored again shortly after, but the referee judged that he had put it in with his hand. With 15 minutes of normal time remaining, Alton found their winner, when a long throw was nodded on towards Perry Coles, who made no mistake in giving the home side the lead. And despite some late pressure from Spellthorn, Alton held on for what was a scrappy but arguably deserved 2-1 win. Elsewhere, there were chaotic scenes at Farnborough's FA Trophy game at Slough Town. Now, Slough won the game 2-1, but tensions began to boil over after the final whistle when a fight broke out between rival sets of fans. Farnborough have said they're reviewing the CCTV footage and will issue bans to the supporters involved. Staying with the FA Trophy, and there was heartbreak for Basingstoke Town, who conceded an equaliser in the 10th minute of added time at High League Chippenham, before going on to lose in a penalty shootout. However, there was no such disappointment for Salisbury, who, after being 2-0 down at half-time against Hanwell, pulled off a dramatic comeback to win 3-2. And finally, in the Wessex League, AFC Portchester's almighty 13-game winning run came to an end, when they were beaten 2-0 at home by a Eastleigh-based side AFC Stoneham. Back to you.